Hi everyone. In this short video demonstration, we'll talk about how to add a, a Hyper-V host into the Virtual Machine Manager. So in this my test lab, I have a VMM server, 2012 server. First of all, I'll go ahead and open the Virtual Machine Management console. Okay, in the console itself, you can see various components. Now, when you go to the fabric section on the ribbon uh, in the top of the uh, console, you can see various components. On the fabric section, I can see all the host computers. Networking section, I can see all the networking components and storage. Vice versa, you will find all the relevant network storage that can, can be added. Now, in our requirement, we, we are planning to add a host into the servers group so what I'll first of all go ahead and do is select the all host group here you can find we have created host groups Citrix host group development host group and production host group and VMware host group now the idea behind that one for me is to go ahead and add a single ho Hyper-V host server into the production uh, host group so for that one we'll go for the add resources and say Hyper-V host server now before moving forward I just want to show you another quick uh, thing when you look at it add resources you can see various components that you can add over here a library server, a pixie server, a WSR server to update all the host groups VMware vCenter servers, ESX servers and Citrix Sense servers so in this one I'll go ahead and try to go and add the Hyper-V host uh, server Now in this console, we are being bought with uh, a wizard requesting us to mention where we can find the uh, host computer. In my scenario, it will be uh, actually in the existing Active Directory domain. And for the to add that particular host computer, we need to provide the credentials. So, assuming the host can be in a DMC zone, or it can be an ESX server, or it can be in various uh, uh, sections maybe it can be out of the domain so you need to provide credential in order to publish the agent and uh, read with the VMM server so we can pre-select the run as account we have been created earlier in my scenario I'll go ahead and select the domain admin now if it's an ESX server then you can definitely go ahead and select the VMware ESX if you have created already a run account for that one same goes for the Citrix Sense server So here it asks me whether I can find the computer by typing the name of it or whether I, I would need to do a Active Directory query. In my scenario, I'll go ahead and to demonstrate how we do that one, I'll select I want to do an Active Directory query and I know the host computer starting from letter H. If you don't know, you can put asterisk, then it will uh, show you all the computer list. In my scenario, just to filter it out, I'll put H and asterisk key and then carry out a simple query so this is the physical host that i really want to add it to the uh, I, uh, vmm console so i'll select that one and click next and uh, what is clearly mentioning is in case if you have not enabled the hyper v role this during the vmm agent installation it will carry out that particular task as well and there can be potentially restarting of the host since we know we ought, I have already enabled the Hyper-V uh, role on that one, I'll go ahead and say continue. So I don't have to expect uh, unexpected shutdowns or restarting of the particular host. And here we can add this uh, the host to a host group. I'll put him to the production group. And if I really want, I can reassociate the host with the VMM environment. I'll keep it for the time being. And you can add the particular path to keep all the virtual machines uh, placement. At this stage, I'll keep everything to default. So this is the summary of the actions we have been already selected and the actions that we are going to go ahead and uh, complete. So I'll say finish, and then it will actually go ahead and go for the task list. In here, you can see under the jobs. Uh, at the moment, I even got a problem, so I'll have to go and look at it. But it doesn't show you. A detail level what exactly the problem is for that we need to go for the job section 
and then have a look at it why the virtual machine actually didn't get installed so let's have a quick look at it about the error messages over here so as you can see it's clearly mentioning uh, host computer currently having a VMM agent which is not supported so we'll go ahead and quickly have a look at it of the agent installed on the physical machine So I already have a VMM agent. This is actually carried out by the 2008 uh, VMM. So I'll go ahead and uninstall that particular agent. Okay, the uninstallation is complete. So we'll resume back for the uh, VMM and have a look at it uh, again whether we can push the agent. So if I go back to the jobs, you can see I don't have to carry out the task again and again. I can just simply say restart the job. So I'll select the domain admin account again, click OK. So while this is running, we can go back to the job section and have a detailed look at it. What are the actions it's carrying out? So you can see over here currently the VMM is trying to install the agent onto the host computer. So this uh, task would take a little bit time. So I'll return back to you guys once the agent installation has been completed. Okay, you can see now the job has been completed with a warning over there saying the multipath is not enabled. In my uh, uh, demo lab, I don't have a actual network card, so any multipath enabled. So we can safely ignore that one. So now if I go back to the uh, fabric section, I should be able to see the host computer under the production already been added. Now it's you can see like all the functionalities seems to be working properly and it's showing all the uh, details about the host computer if i go to the vms and services i should be able to see all the virtual machines under this particular host computer which will take little bit time to demo uh, come over here because it needs to be refreshed and added uh, into this console okay now you can see all the hosts keep on adding to the uh, console uh, one by one as i mentioned this this will be a task that will can take a little bit time and especially you need to be careful like uh, the relevant ports will be open on the host computer in order to vmh uh, to communicate properly so like uh, oh, uh, as overall this would be the process for you to add the existing host com hyper v host computers or it can be vmware or it can be a send server to the VMM console for the centralized management. So if you are managing more than 10 or 15 virtual machines, sorry, or the host computers, one of the key component advice you need to remember is try to group them into the uh, host groups. So it will be easy for you overall management side and whenever you are going to give permissions or apply certain like policies, adding them to the host group rather than individual host really going to save a lot of your time. So I really hope that this video demonstration has been helpful for you and thank you for watching.